In this video lesson, you're going to be learning how to make a copy of a Google form and then send it out to the, your students so that they're able to take the little quick quiz. All right. So I am at Unit 3 Lessons, and in this one in particular is Heating and Cooling. As I scroll through the lesson plan, I come to a bullet point that says Google Form. All right, so what I'm going to do is click on this link, and it's going to ask me to sign in to Google if I'm not already signed in. Okay, so this brings me to a shared folder, and one of the quick checks is the heating and cooling that I was looking at. So I'm going to right click on the quick check that I need, and then I'm going to select make a copy. And then down here, you're going to see that the copy is going to be in my drive. So you can click on locate, but if you don't get to it in time, like I just did, you can click on my drive, scroll down, and then you will see copy of whatever you are wanting to make a copy of. In this case, it was the heating and cooling quick check. And notice that the owner is now me. So instead of the owner being uh, Belinda, now you would be the owner. So I'm going to double click on the quick check and open it up. And now I'm going to have to use a link in order to give it to the students. This up here is not the link that you use to give to the students. You click on send and then link, which is the little paper clip look thing. And this is the link that you use. You can click on it and then do control C on your keyboard or right click and click on copy. And then you can paste that into your Google Classroom. If you don't have a Google Classroom and you need the students to take this quick check, what you can do is make a tiny URL. So you open up a new tab, type in www.tinyurl.com, and then you can paste the um, link that you just copied into this box, and you can make a tiny URL so that the kids We'll just type in tinyurl.com slash and then whatever it comes up with. Yours is going to look different. All right. And that is all you need to do. If you have any questions, please contact your um, science coordinator, specialist. If it's a technology question, you're more than welcome to contact me, Fern Johnson, and I will help you out. Thank you so much.